Hello everyone, uh, Max here again, and today our topic is going to be shoulder mobility drills. So we're going to go over um, some exercises that will kind of help open up the shoulders. Um, obviously, if any of these exercises elicit any pain or you experience severe discomfort, uh, stop them immediately. A little resistance is expected and okay. Um, as a matter of fact, a lot of us, so we have sedentary jobs, kind of we have that anterior and shoulder roll. Everything's just going to get tightened up. So these exercises are just designed to kind of help open you up, especially if you've been having some, some tightness in those shoulder blades that's preventing you from either getting to a bench press or perhaps a, a, a squat position. So before you do any stretching or mobility drills, always warm up. This can be a little five minute walk, a bike ride, a walk, um, even a hot shower. Um, you can even put a hot pad um, on both your shoulders. The whole point is just to get blood flow to the area. Okay. So we'll assume you're nice and warmed up. Okay. So first things first, nice shoulder rotations, front to back. So again, we're starting kind of slow here. And while we're going through these, these mobility drills, try to create a muscle to mind connection and really try to visualize what's going on here. Remember, the shoulder is a ball and socket joint. So you have the humeral head and it fits into the, sh uh, the shoulder socket, right? So it's great because it allows for the most range of motion of any joint, even more than uh, the femur, because we have the, uh, the femur that's going into the acetabulum. But really, nothing can compare to the range of motion of the uh, shoulder socket joint, because it allows a full, near 360 degree rotation. We're not gonna do that, so we're just going just front to back here. Now, we'll, our aim here is about 15 reps, but don't really focus on a strict number per se. Focus more on just creating just that, um, just that looseness. You know what I mean? Good. Next, hands together. We're going to go out and in. Okay? So we're opening up the chest and curving. So a side view. Okay? So we went from that circular motion to now... We're closing the chest and opening it up. Closing the chest and opening it up. So the whole point is we're moving that humerus in a different angle now. I'm gonna do this from the back view. Stretch. Now look, now with any shoulder mobility exercise, you wanna really anchor these shoulders down. They shouldn't be up here pinching your ears. Nice and down, anchor them. That really kind of sets a good platform for all of your movement patterns. So opening up the chest, and then you can have a little round just to stretch out these rhomboids, stretch out that upper back. And notice how the scapula, these shoulder blades, as we call them, they're moving out and then in. So actually, if you see, look at my scapula, my shoulder blades, right? They're coming out and then they're pinching in. They're coming out and pinching in, okay? Good, next, scapular retractions, okay? So we're back to the shoulder, our shoulder blades, our scapula. Similar movement pattern. So in the previous one, they were going out and in. This time, the movement pattern is a horizontal front to back, okay? So again, shoulders are down, okay? And then we're rolling those shoulder blades forward and then pinching. Forward and pinching. And keep those shoulders down the entire time. You can have a slight roll at the top here, just to emphasize a good stretch in those rhomboids, but as you come back, anchor them down. So stretch, reach, pinch. Stretch, reach, pinch. And what does this remind you of? It's a typical rowing movement. Whether you're doing you know, a, a bent over row or a cable row, it's the same movement pattern. So stretching, reaching. So reaching, pinching. Fantastic. Very good. So now, so we worked the that shoulder girdle. We went rotational. We went in and out, front to back. The last one is up and down. So the whole point of this is to kind of teach you to disengage and re-engage your lats here because a lot of shoulder injuries arise because you're not engaging the lats and that's causing those shoulders to rise and now they're out of position. So you end up you know, rolling those shoulders forward and you end up injuring yourself. So Always shoulders are down. But the whole point of this is to teach you when you're coming up right here, you're trying to pinch your head like a pimple. You're using your traps, right? These big neck muscles. You're raising your shoulder girdle. 
Now relax and shoot them down. As you're shooting the entire sh uh, shoulder girdle down, you should feel a little bit of these lats starting to fire. So these are actually contrarian movements. And I'm doing this in the hopes of teaching you what you should be feeling versus what you're not. So you're, you're pinching the shoulders, pinching that your head like a pimple, you're activating the traps, and now you're shooting everything down, engaging the lats. So this is the proper position. This is what you're gonna be doing a chest press, a bench press, um, a row. This is a strong power position, okay? So pinch, this is kind of incorrect, unless you're doing, of course, an upright row or a shrug. But for this purpose, we're teaching you to engage the lats. Then pinch, and then boom, land those lats. Pinch, and boom. Sometimes when you do uh, the exact opposite of move movement, it can kind of help you, help orient you, all right? Okay, so last one here. Um, so humeral rotation. So we've kind of worked that shoulder girdle in a lot of different planes of motion. And the very last one here, simply hold your arm out, okay? And I want you to rotate as, as if you're pouring um, a glass, you know, of water into something. So you start with the glass upright, and then we rotate until it comes all the way down, okay? Now go very slow. You don't want, and look at my shoulder blade. I don't want to be all the way up. Keep them down and just rotate that arm all the way down. Again, don't force it. A little resistance is expected, but if there's pain, if there's sharpness, if there's tingling, please stop, okay? We're not, we're here to open everything up. We're not here to re-injure anything, okay? These should be kind of subtle, gentle moves. I'm trying to reintegrate natural motion here. So good. Again, you know, it's, it's very common for those shoulders to be stiff, so go at your own pace. Keep those shoulders low. Fantastic. Now, if that felt really good, you can even expand into uh, like a typical scarecrow where you have the hand at a 90 degree angle and you work it down and up. So again, look at my humorous position. I'm not dropping it all the way down. I'm doing my best to kind of keep it parallel to the floor. Now, it doesn't have to be all the way up here. You can drop it up to 30 degrees. That's fine. Just rotate it out and then give you a little side view here, guys. And again, these are mobility drills. They are designed to help you create that muscle to mind connection, help you set a, a foundation for the rest of your exercises. Don't be flying through these, understand the purpose of them, okay? And if you do them, for example, every day, you know, it usually takes one to two weeks for you to kind of see effects. I mean, this isn't a, a cure-all by any means, but it's a great additive. Inside, but you know, I'll give you a little back view here. So again, focus on rotating that arm within the shoulder. Now, if you went through all those exercises and there wasn't any pain, you felt felt pretty good. Here's some advanced variations. So we're, we're uh, revisiting uh, those shoulder rotations that we did in the beginning. This time, you can even have your hands straight up and open up like this. Okay. Now, I actually prefer to split it in half and have you just do it with one arm instead. This way, you can really focus on that range of motion. See, again, it, I know it, I said it's an expert move and most people can do this, but hey, if you have pain, you do what you can. You know, perhaps just the, um, the shoulders or the arms to the side shoulder roll might be the only thing that you can do for now, and that's fine. Work up to it. Beautiful, and the other arm. But always going front to back, it just help. It helps set your shoulders in a proper kind of postural position. I mean, so much of what we do is already promoting the, uh, that shoulder rounding. So the last thing I want you to do is roll forward. Um, the next one, revisiting those uh, the, the pinching the pimple or pinching your head like a pimple. This time, have your arms up. Okay, so this is the starting position. Arms are just slightly. So oh, arms are elevated, but a slight bend in the elbow because we never hyperextend a joint. We never lock out those elbows. And now with the arms engaged, I want you to raise the shoulder blades up and then bring them down, okay? So what does this remind you of? This is essentially a shoulder press, right? So, um, so this is a good activation exercise to teach you to anchor your shoulders and create that strong upper back foundation from which you can press from. Because so many people 
uh, engage those traps and lift the entire shoulder girdle when they're pressing. That's, that's the wrong thing to do. You want to anchor everything, so you're really pushing from those lats. Now, obviously the end goal is to get you here. You're doing a nice overhead press, but look at the, look at the angle between um, you know, my arms and my chest. You know, it's nearly parallel. A lot of people, you know, just due to anatomy, injuries, uh, depending on your, um, your muscle connections, even um, um, just like the, your, uh, your bone angles, you might not be able to get in this position. So at that point, all you have to do is just simply move them in into a neutral position or even 45 degrees, make it a little bit easier on those shoulders, okay? So it's kind of like squatting where everyone should squat, but everyone squats differently. I mean, everyone should overhead press. It's a basic move. I mean, you don't want to be able, you don't want to be injuring yourself putting something on a top shelf. But you know, everyone should be overhead pressing. But everyone's overhead press will look different. Now, of course, if you have neck issues, that's a completely different topic. But you understand the gist here. Tailor it to your anatomy. Tailor it to your to what your body is allowing you to do. Okay. So the shoulders are nice and down. Okay. Shoulders are nice and down. Again, I'm not running through this. I'm just taking my time, understanding what's going on. Fantastic, guys. So good work. Um, run through that a couple of times. Um, kind of get back to me. Would love to hear um, any feedback and suggestions. Take care now. Bye-bye.